That being said, there are some Kiwi Quickie Forums updates, and uh, I guess I'll just get right into it because I don't have anything else um, pressing matters to 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 play around with. Uh, first, this happened. This came out like just right before the stream. The EFS has published yet another article about the Kiwi Farms, um, and the result is. The, so if you don't remember, the EFF used to be one of the best like pro freedom of speech on the internet services or nonprofits in the in the world. And over the years they have been beaten into submission by cancel culture. Um their first article that they wrote about the Kiwi Farm stuff around the time that Cloudflare happened was by a very esteemed attorney who had serious Supreme Court case law under her, uh, in her career. And then there was also like a, I guess like a philosopher, like, I don't know what you, no, philosopher sounds pretentious, but like someone who studies like the ethics of, of stuff. And she was from Berlin and she looked like she was from Berlin. And they co-authored an article about how it's a really, 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 really bad idea to make Cloudflare the police of the internet because Cloudflare controls an enormous amount of the internet. So you, you really don't want someone in that position who used to be a, um, a kind of neutral platform that just allowed law enforcement to do their job to suddenly decide, actually, you know what, we're going to actually uh, take direct control and figure out what, what should be allowed on the internet and not. They published this article and they just sort of mentioned, yeah, we don't like the Kiwi farmers, but this is really stupid. And then they were completely meringued on Twitter by the usual suspects, the gender activists or whatever the fuck you want to call them, the people of gender. And uh, after that, they anonymized their attributions. And the you can see up there, it says by EFF. It used to say by two different people on the first article. And then they swapped that out to EFF. And subsequent articles on this topic have been written, uh, not by any specific people, but rather anonymously through the EFF bylines. Um, every subsequent article has been front-loaded with the e the kiwi farms is the worst website we've ever seen and we think that everyone on it should fucking die the police should bust down their doors and shoot them all dead fuck due process uh like like literally like we hope that everyone involved with this website should be prosecuted is in this article somewhere and i sent them an email in reply the, the article covers basically what you would expect from someone trying to say like there's only a couple tier ones. You don't want them censoring stuff. It will bite you in the ass. It already has bit people in the ass. Um, this should be a matter for the courts. This should be a matter for the police. If you think this website is criminal, the people um, uh, acting criminally should be prosecuted in the criminal court. It should not be something that is left up to the massive corporation of Hurricane Electronic, which is an objectively true stance. If you believe that, you are 100% in the right. Unfortunately, um, in today's dynamic, being in the right is no longer what it used to be. It used to be if you were in the right, you were in the right. Congratulations, you win. Nowadays, you're not so lucky. So even though they are in the right, they feel the constant perpetual need to apologize for being right. They um, have to, uh, and, and it's maddening because it, it doesn't make any sense. The people who would decide that they do not want to support the EFF because they have taken a consistent stance towards a website that they don't like are not then going to be the people who will be placated by this kind of line, like balancing act where they have to first, uh, you know, preface that everything that they're doing, um, they, they're, they're saying with the knowledge that the Kiwi farms is the worst thing that's ever created. It's not persuasive. Um, not neither to the general public, not specifically to them. Like they're not going to say, oh, well, you know, they raised some salient points about internet censorship. Um, and they did say that the Kiwi farms should be completely destroyed by the federal government. But, uh, so therefore it balances out and I understand their point. Like they're not going to say that that's not going to happen. That person who is so offended by the, the objectively true position that the tier one ISB should not censor the internet 
are not going to have a, re, a you know a rational nuanced stance that oh that's okay then because they they clarified that the Kiwi Farms is a bad site. It doesn't work. Those people are going to stop supporting the AFF no matter what you do. Conversely, there are people who are neutral to the Kiwi Farms, a lot of people, and neutral to um, or positive towards the Kiwi Farms who would then look at an article that's so limp wristed and it like uh so hostile to a website that has done literally nothing criminal to deserve such hostilities and then say oh well this website this charity is not run correctly the management is political and they can't take a stance without apologizing for it so why would i send my money to something um that isn't going to accomplish anything because apparently they have some sort of moralizing position um that the thing that they believe in is somehow also bad because that's how it sounds. It's like we we have this technical position, this technical stance that this is a bad thing, but we don't really truly believe in it enough that we're going to really stand by it with um, a full defense. So why would anybody who does support Internet neutrality look at an article like this and then say, yeah, actually, um, that's fine. You know, we're going to that's enough It's because it's not enough. You're, the, the other issue is that if you are trying to genuinely convince people in the industry like Hurricane Electric, that they need to stop um, censoring the internet. This article is detrimental to that purpose. Nobody from Hurricane Electric is going to read an article where the first five paragraphs are dedicated to saying that this website is basically criminal and the police should get involved right now and prosecute everyone for their terrible crimes and say, oh, we made a dreadful mistake by acting as internet police. Because at this point, the way that the EFS has, have worded this, um, this article is that they're implying that the Kiwi Farms is as criminal as uh, piracy and child pornography. So if you're in the networking industry, one, the, the two things that you will go out of your way to block preemptively before you get a court order are, are child pornography and private, or piracy, because those are criminal matters that uh, are routinely a problem for people uh, in networking. And they will go and step up and block things, and they have been doing it for 20 years, and nobody's raised a fuss about that because it is a illegal um, burden on them. So by saying this is a terrible, evil, awful, criminal website, you're basically saying the website is in the class of child pornographers and piracy, uh, which is just not true. And you're not going to convince people to ease off the gas when that's your stance. Um, and it's like... You know, people just don't get it. They really, I, maybe, I don't know if it's just their actual personal stance or if that is just something that they feel like they have to say because of politics. Um, but either way, it's like, it's not fair because never, not once, have we been contacted by any of the law enforcement agency about the crimes that the Kiwi Farms is accused of. There have been like very specific instances where someone has done something that alerted the FBI to it. And it's almost always like a, a threat of violence towards an unspecific demographic, like the, the fucking post by SIGSAV. It's, it's not like people actually harass, never, I don't think, ever have I been contacted by police over a specific incident regarding a, an individual on the site who has a thread. It's almost always some dumb shit said by people in articles and happenings about politicians and shit. Um, the same kind of boomer post you would see on Fox News's comment section, and it's uh, and it's really it's really frustrating because the whole the whole idea with not allowing the internet service providers to act as law enforcement and preemptively block stuff they don't really have a reason to is that we have due process. And we have due process, and therefore nobody is guilty of anything until they're proven of being guilty in a court of law. And effectively, by taking the side of the outrage mob and saying, actually, the site is super terrible, and we really hope that the police will get involved, they're already depriving me of due process. They're already taking the side that the site is guilty. And even though it's super guilty, you know, we just have to wait for the court system to catch up to it because it's going to come one day. But until that day, Hurricane Electric shouldn't be involved, which is a extremely weak position. It's the weakest position you could possibly take on this matter. Um, so I'm, I'm really, 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 really disappointed that they keep doing this because they're not winning any friends. It, again, they're not going to win any friends in the demographic of people who are easily outraged about dumb shit, and they're not going to win any friends with people who should really care 
um, about censorship because the position that they take is so weak and so ineffective and so unpersuasive that nobody is possibly going to change their mind or see EF as, as a viable um, nonprofit that actually defends freedom of speech when this is what they do, how they, how they actually action that, that mission statement. So, yeah, in short, uh, pretty fucking weak, pretty disappointing. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.